Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the first uh, sort of proper video from me, uh, Scott, at Scott's Crazy Builds, uh, which you can see on here. Uh, I apologise for my uh, sign being a bit rubbish, but um, already someone, people on Instagram have been uh, <laughs> claiming my content as theirs, so uh, there we go. Um, so basically, I put a video up of my jet engined motorcycle, which I've been building for two years now, um, of it uh, running and also after burning, uh, which has attracted quite a few views, about 40,000 so far. Um, and this afterburner, which, is, which you see here, was glowing red and white hot and making some big flames, which it's supposed to do. Um, so that's good. Now, <laughs> unsurprisingly, um, the overriding sort of comment uh, that was vastly posted was that I'm going to set my bum on fire, um, which might happen, but I don't think it will. So this video is really just to explain why my bum isn't going to set on fire. Um, and here we have the factory seat. Now, what I've done is I have covered the subframe in stainless steel heat shields, which you can see here. And those heat shields are also covered in gold foil, which is used on um, race cars and aircraft. And basically it uh, reflects heat extremely well. So the heat from this afterburner tube is going to get reflected back at the tube. Now, you can see that something went wrong here. That is double skin section on the hottest part of the, uh, of the afterburner. So there's a second skin underneath there. And this was covered in gold foil and that did get too hot and it set on fire. So I'm going to clean that up and I'm going to leave it just as stainless steel. But the rest of it, I think you'll agree, seems pretty good. So there's a something else that I've been doing. Okay, obviously the tire, people said that's gonna get hot. I've got a heat shield on there. The tire will also be spinning when the bike's moving. So, you know, if it's not gonna set on fire when the bike's stationary, then it's not gonna set on fire when the bike is moving because obviously the tire will be rotating. So here you can see the, uh, the heat shield on the top and you can see that I've stuck temperature sensors on the crucial points where the seat mounts and where the plastic fairings will go and now I'm going to show you what temperatures everything got to. Here you can see a log I've taken so the um, two hottest points were under the seat on the rearward mount and also on the general heat shield both of them got to about 115 degrees, which isn't too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. The seat here is made from ABS. So that will melt or start melting about 105, so we're pretty close. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna be putting insulation between, and that should help. Um, so hopefully that'll be enough. Uh, the, the second thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my radiator fans, which are here. And they blow over the top of the heat shield, which goes all the way over here. And that, I'm going to, I didn't use them before, but I've decided I'm going to put that in. So another thing that obviously I'll be doing is when I actually come to ride the bike, which I'm pretty nervous about, uh, I'll, be riding, I'll be riding it with leathers and Nomex, um, which should protect me reasonably well but before I do that I need to do more testing I need to make sure that nothing sets on fire particularly the seat and the panels and I need to take some more measurements I also need to get a trailer and uh, a tow bar so that I can take the bike elsewhere and stop annoying my neighborhood with a jet engine so uh, I've started GoFundMe which is on my website and also my Facebook page if you've got any questions of any kind, particularly technical, or you want more content, educational videos, then please let me know, particularly for kids. And I'm gonna post some more content on how the bike works, what the components are, how I built it. So that's coming soon. 
Uh, please like my Facebook page and my Instagram and uh, thank you very much for sharing.